What is up everybody, AJ here, welcome and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use a second laptop or second tablet as a wireless display in Windows 10. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into it. In this video, I'll be projecting the Surface Book 3 onto the Surface Pro X, but really you can do this with any Windows 10 PC. I find this is a great way to reuse and recycle computers around the house that really don't get much longer attention anymore. Because this is the computer we're projecting to, we need to go into the settings first and make sure it's enabled to be a second wireless display. What we're going to do is we're going to press Windows key and K, and this is going to bring up the connect option. Down the bottom right hand side, you can see there is an option of projecting to this PC. So we're going to select on this option to project to this PC. This is going to pull us into the settings and by default, these are going to be turned off because it's going to save battery life and it's going to mean no one's going to unexpectedly be projecting to your PC. So what you want to do is on the first option here, it says some Windows and Android devices can project to this PC when you say it's OK. By default, this is always off, but we're going to drop this down and we're going to turn this on. We can do it for everywhere or we can do it for secured networks. For this example, I'm just going to go available everywhere. The second option is asking to project to this PC. Do we want it every time a connection is requested or do we want it the first time only? We're going to have it for every time a connection is requested, but this is totally up to you. The third option is do you want a pin for every time a device wants to pair? You can have this set to never, first time, so the first time it wants to connect, or always. I'm going to have this set to never. So there are three settings, and down the bottom here is a toggle that is on or off. This is the ability to project to the PC, whether it's only on power, or even when it's running on battery power. So by default, it's set to only working when it's on a power source. I'm going to turn this off because we're not plugged into power right now, and this computer is now ready to be projected too. Cool. So what you want to do next is press the start menu and type in connect. This is going to open up the connect app and it says your desktop and your desktop name is ready for you to connect wirelessly. This means that it is now ready and waiting to be wirelessly projected too. Cool. Now jumping over to the Surface Book, we want to project this onto our Surface Pro. So what we want to do is press the Windows P and K option. And then it's, this is going to bring up the connect section and this is going to show us all the wireless well pretty much bluetooth devices that are around us you can see i've got my airpods my headphones uh, some other people's tvs and of course the surface pro x so i select on the surface pro x which is desktop tgm whatever generic name it is given i'll select that and what you'll see happen to the surface pro x here is that it is now preparing to project And you can see here that we've now projected while I'm moving around in the Surface Book here, you can see that the mouse is now moving around on the Surface Pro X. If I opened up, say, the Internet Explorer on the, um, on the Surface Book, you can see it's now appearing on the Surface Pro. And of course, because it's a projection, really I'm controlling the Surface Book, but it's just running through an app. So I can still use my Surface Pro X and all the apps on there natively while I'm controlling my Surface Book here. So I could grab a new tab and we can go, um, we can go news.com.au, wherever you want to go. And you can see everything I'm doing there is actually being controlled by the Surface Book. One tip I want to give you is that when you're wirelessly projecting to a screen, and let me pull up those settings again. So this time I've opened up my action center. I'm going to select on the connect option. And this is going to bring me to the exact same connection page. You see that there's a little button here that says allow for mouse, keyboard, touch and pen input from this device. This means that I can use my Surface Pro X as pen, I can use the touch screen, I can use the keyboard and mouse input. So I'm not just projecting, I can actually use my Surface Pro to fully control the Surface Book here by using pen and touch input. So let me zoom out for a second and show you pretty much what is happening here. I've got my Surface Book, which is natively running um, its Windows operating system. On the left-hand side, we're wirelessly projecting to the Surface Pro, and right now, it is duplicating what is happening. I don't find this to be all that productive. 
But if I press the Windows key and P, it's gonna give me the options to duplicate, to extend, second screen only. I'm gonna select the option of extending. And what you'll see now is that I can actually grab this window from my Surface Book and I can drag it across, oh, where's my Surface Pro? The screens aren't set up to where they should be. But you see, I've just actually grabbed that screen from my Surface Book and brought that straight over to my Surface Pro. So I could be doing something like my emails on my Surface Book here or editing a video, reading a script on the left-hand side, and basically using my Surface Pro or any Windows device as a second wireless display for my Windows 10 PC. Cool, and it is that simple to use a second Windows laptop as a wireless display in Windows 10. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.